that. I, you know, I, I look at photographs of me from years ago, and I, it's like not even, I don't even know who that guy is. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had all this black curly hair, I was skinny, I could, I could eat a horse and a ton of french fries and nothing would happen. You know? Now my, my metabolism has stopped. <laughs> Amen. I don't know how that could even be, but it actually is. I'm telling you, I gained weight. I mean, I don't eat anything I gained weight. And this thing with the hair, I got when my hair started going away, I thought, what? What? I couldn't believe it. You know, I, I thought that bald people were from another universe. You know, I, I didn't know they were us. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what to, to make matters worse, I don't know about you, but the hair that left my head is now showing up in the most inopportune places. <laughs> I now have hair coming out of my ears. I have it growing out of my ears. I mean, I'm not the top of my nose. So I'm up there, I'm going to show pluck in my ear. <laughs> 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 Sacramento, this girlfriend of mine uh, that I knew from, uh, from years ago, there were two. Uh, and, and it was the 60s. It was. It was. <laughs> How did you know? You weren't even born. I was telling Terry that I just was a nice guy. I never wanted to hurt one's feelings. You know, if someone wanted to do that, I said, okay. <laughs> restaurant and she breaks out bifocals, you know, and, and puts them on so she can read the menu. And I let her, bifocals, bifocals, there's a line in your glasses. I said, that's the line. When you cross that line, you never have sex again. That's it. You know, oh, that right. line, that's the one you're saying to the world, well, it's over for me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. You know so I said, I can't believe it. And I, I was just merciless. I was merciless and sensitive and stupid. This was on a Thursday. Sunday morning, I swear to you, this was, it was 72 hours from when I gave her Paybacks. Leave, you know, and I get the Sunday paper and it's like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, Karma. I, I understand when a prescription runs out, but I didn't know that your eyes prescription could run out. You know what I mean? It was just the weirdest thing in the world to suddenly not be able to see out of your own eyes. You know what I'm saying? What? So I got the graduated lenses or whatever it's called. The, uh, the progressive. Progressive, progressive, right. So you can't tell that I'm actually going blind. Amen. Yeah. Preaching the corner. So yeah, it's just the whole maturation process. I, I don't know who thought it up, but that's not the way I'd do it. <laughs> you know, if I was running things, here's the way it would work. We would achieve a level of physical and spiritual and mental balance, a perfect symbiosis of glands and organs and muscles. And then we would just hover there for like a hundred years. And then we'd have one really crummy weekend. <laughs> Everything would all go to pot. Just one, you know. The eyes would go, the hair would fall out, teeth would fall out. You strip up like cheap bacon, you die. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just hated it, you know? And, and uh, every day they would come by, I'd carry my books, they'd knock my books out from behind, they'd pat me upside the head, you know? It was just always something. It just, so I kept as low a profile as I could possibly keep in the night grade. And, uh, and this one day, I was on the bus. I was under one of the seats where they had put me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there was a girl named Patty Kay. And, and uh, she had a reputation. Uh, the, the, the jocks all talked about her in baseball terms. You know, first base. I never made the team, so I don't know what, uh, whether it was actually true or not. You know, but that's how they referred to her, second base. And uh, this one day, this clump of knuckle dragging behemoths, uh, <laughs> thunder neck guys who, well, in any event, uh, they backed into the corner of the bus and began to taunt her and tease her and kind of grope her a little bit. And she got really frightened and she looked around for help. And she looked right at me. And I looked away. I just looked away. I didn't have the courage to uh, do anything. I was scared. And I never forgot. I never ever forgot, it, even though I thought I forgot. It. But it turned up in a song a couple years ago. And uh, I'd like to do it for y'all. It's called On the Bus. Bye. 